So I took and scraped the rust out of the number one and number four cylinders. Uh, sandpaper might have worked, but steel wool was not getting anywhere. And the rust tended to break off in big chunks. And hopefully the cylinder wall surface is not pitted to the point where it would create uh, smoking if I ever get this thing running. So I'm going to demonstrate now that it will turn. So a couple things I noticed. One, these pistons are dished. Where on the red engine they have a flat top. So I suspect that's to lower the compression ratio. This is a pretty late model engine I believe. <clears throat> also a tremendous amount of... I don't know if it's just rust flakes or maybe carbon deposits that dissolved by the solvent and wound up uh, stuck to the piston tops. I don't know if you can get a close up there but it looks like the rings aren't even scraping the cylinder. I mean a lot of debris is left behind in the path of the piston. You can almost see it there as the sun kind of bounces off the camera I guess. This is a bit of a mystery. I'm guessing this is an aftermarket electronic ignition added to some kind of a late model Lucas distributor. I'm guessing it's an electronic distributor converted to more reliable aftermarket electronic. I'll have to do some research on that. I plan to run points so you may see that distributor on eBay and I'm surprised I haven't, knock on wood, I haven't broken this, what I take to be a plastic ring there that creates the pulses. If I had an old cap, I'd slap that onto that for its protection. Or I should probably take the distributor off, lest I regret leaving it on later. So I think the plan now is I'll get those pistons out find some new rings. Since I've already ordered the hone, I'll go ahead and hone it and see what happens. That's the plan for this moment anyway. I did measure the, the cylinder bores on this and they appear to be 40 thousandths smaller than on the red engine. The red engine pistons were marked 40 thousandths so I conclude this was never bored. It might be it was never previously taken apart from the factory. I don't know how I could ever prove that one way or the other. But since it has yet to be bored, that's a possibility. Maybe someone can tell me if that's a factory head gasket. I see some crud building up there in that number one cylinder. Also here in number four. I can't even see the valves. I don't know how well that's coming out on the camera. Well, a much longer journey ahead than I thought this was going to be.
in terms of getting it to run on the ground. But we'll keep after it. Thank you.